What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2003 Chevy S10, and I'm gonna use it to point out to you some important fuses and uh, relay for the air conditioning and or the blower motor. So um, the first one, first couple I'm gonna tell you about, they're actually right in here. There's two. This 20 amp fuse right there, that's one of the HVAC fuses. That one is responsible for providing power to, um, among other things, the servo motors, which help change the mode. So whether or not the air comes out of the vents or the floor. There's also a 10 amp fuse right there where my thumb is at. Um, that also provides power to the um, HVAC, the computer itself. Uh, there is a fuse puller you can use here. And uh, that's about it. That covers it for the um, passenger compartment fuses. If we make our way under the hood, you're gonna unscrew this here and then just kind of pull this up. There's a fuse puller here as well. Um, getting right to it, the AC compressor clutch fuse is going to be this 10 amp fuse. Um, so if that fuse is intact, it will allow power to pass through it to the AC compressor itself, <clears throat> which is right here. So um, if this is engaging, that's what you want. If this is not engaging, then you'll want to check these things. Um, the relay for the AC compressor clutch is this one right here. And uh, you just wiggle it side to side and pull up and it will come out. And if you suspect that this is bad, you can swap it with the horn relay, which is right there. That's a good troubleshooting step. Now for the relay to um, get clicked on, of course you have to have the AC button switched on. Um, the PCM is actually what provides, um, provides a ground to this to help it switch on. And um, the power is actually coming through this right here. So this is a ignition E fuse. And if it's blowing your car, will, your truck will actually still start, um, but it will not receive the power here uh, to click over. So you'll wanna check that as well. Now, as far as the blower motor, there's no blower motor relay, but the fuse for the blower motor is this 30 amp fuse right there. So you'll wanna check that out. And that about covers it uh, for the fuses and the relay. Now I will say, Let's say all your electronics are good, but your compressor clutch is not engaging. Uh, you'll wanna see if you've got a power and a ground present here. If you have a power and a ground and this is not engaging, then you know that this has failed internally. Um, or you can look for leaks. Like you can see this one shows signs of leaking, how it's just kind of coated in that greenish dye. If the pressure is too low, the car or the truck will actually detect that through this sensor. This is a uh, three wire pressure sensor and um, it will actually communicate to the to the car when the pressure is too low or maybe too high, and it will actually cause the AC to get cut off. So that's a potential failure point as well. Um, again, you, you'll want to check the pressure level too, because maybe it leaked out, maybe that's why the AC is not clicking on. But yeah, that about covers it. Let me know if you guys have any questions.